what was Dana White like when you were under contract with the UFC? Like to deal with I never Dana? I never like I've got a real strong bullshit meter and fake people and I I don't try to be around them. So I, I I utilize my management to communicate with them as much as possible. Cause he just he always gave me the willies, always turned my stomach. Anything that came out of his mouth was just sounded like bullshit and a like used car salesman garbage. You know, a lot of talking points, a lot of rehearsed statements. It just, nah, pass. And how was Scott Coker like when you were in Bellator? Scott Coker's nice. I always like Scott. I had dinner with Scott a few times. You know, he's in the Bay Area. So I, I always I always thought that Scott would, um, in, a, in, a, in an open market, would do far better at promoting than I think Dana would. Because I think, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with Bellator right now, but usually he's like what he did with Strike Force. No, no, no. I think a lot of it too is because he's fighting against the Monopoly. Yeah. Right. He's fighting against the Monopoly. <clears throat> and unless he becomes three times the slime ball that Dana and the UFC are, he's not going to, he's going to, they're going to struggle. And I think. Uh, one championship, they're doing okay because I think they're they're they've upped it. They've upped the dirty sliminess maybe a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like some of the contracts are pretty bad. 